Now, for a country that offers as much to the aviation geek as Mexico does, you don't seem to find much in the way of turboprops. Every flight here seems to be operated by 737s or Airbus A320s or even Embraer 190s. For an aviation geek who loves his turboprops, it's well, a little bit of an issue, really. But fear not, I have seen an airline coming in and out of here at Mexico City that seem to have a fleet of turboprop planes. And, well, I've booked a ride on them, so we can take a flight with them and go and see what they're like. My flight today is with an airline called Aeromar who fly from Terminal 2 at Mexico City Airport. There were no Aeromar flights showing on any of the departure boards so I had to head to the check-in desk to try and figure out where we'd be going from today. Um, do you know which gate my flight is please? Yes, this is the boarding pass. Yes. Gate, letter C. Okay. And this is boarding pass. Okay, so C. So which was that? Perfect, thank you very much, thank you. With that sorted then, it was time to head through to security. Gracias. So today we're going to be heading down to Acapulco where we're going to be going loco, or at least that's the plan. Um, my flight isn't actually listed on any of the departure boards, which is a bit of a concern, but they've let me through to airside. With my boarding pass, I'm going to head to the Aeromar lounge and take a quick look at it and see what it's like. Aeromar are an entirely economy class airline, but they do have an executive lounge. You can get in by paying an extra $20 on your ticket, or by doing what I did and using my priority pass membership. Okay, thank you. Being a Sunday morning, the lounge was predictably empty apart from a few members of staff. There's a good selection of snacks though, as well as some nice Aeromar aircraft models and, most importantly, caffeine on tap. So I have to be honest, booking this ticket hasn't been the easiest endeavour. Um, here and more, I've got a great website um, and you can theoretically book flights on their website but um, every time it got to the stage at the end where it goes to confirm your booking it just came up with an error every single time um, and said please contact us. Um, I ended up booking it through an online travel agent because it was the only way I could actually get a seat on this flight. Um, but now the fact that we're sat here and it's not showing on any of the screens is a little bit sort of concerning. Um, I've asked the staff here and they said it's fine, you know, but your boarding pass should be alright. But I'm thinking, well, the boarding pass was issued two days ago when I checked in, so who, um, who knows right at this moment in time, but we will find out whether we are actually going to go loco down in Acapulco or whether we're just going to be staying here in Mexico City. There's not a song about that, is there? down and see if we can get the plane. It's still not showing on any of the force, um, which is weird, but they have filed a flight plan on flight aware, so um, we're going to see if the plane is actually going to go um, today. Who knows? We head down to Sea Pier, which is where I've been told to go, and see if, um, see if it's going to go. It seems Aeromar use exclusively these sea gates where they operate their own boarding process using buses. It was still interesting that the flights never showed up on the main screens though. Right, so down at the sea gates here then at Mexico and the flight to Acapulco, it does actually show down here that it's going. So they seem to have a different set of screens down here than they do on the main level which is um, helpful isn't it? <laughs> Never mind, we're in hall C ready to go. Um, Pretty soon we were called for boarding and headed down to some buses which would take us across to the gate. Hello. 
It turns out the Seagates are pretty much just a bus station where you get taken across the airport to the RMR ramp, which is some distance from the main terminal. This drive did give us some great views though, including of these beautiful 727s that are operated by the Mexican police. Don't forget to check out my video on the Aero Mexico Dreamliner, I'll pop the link on the screen now. Finally we arrived at the Aeromar ramp where my ride to Acapulco was waiting. Today's ride was a 3 year old ATR 72600 delivered brand new to Aeromar in 2018. On board, it's, well, pretty smart really, with these lovely comfortable leather seats. Right, we're on board. Yay! Made it. And they're just starting the engines. Yay! Uh, I'm not sure how long the flight is. I think it's about an hour or so down to Acapulco, but um, we will find out. It's quite a nice little plane, actually. Pretty nice smart cabin anyway, so I don't know how old it is. You'll know by the time you watch the video, but hey, there's a bump. There we go. today then took us south out of Mexico City towards the coastal town of Acapulco. Flight time today was 47 minutes cruising at 20,000 feet. So then airborne out of Mexico City on the Aeromar ATR 72 and it's a very smart plane. I really like this. Look at the seats. Decent space in them as well. A little table. safety card and stuff. That's all really good. It's very comfortable. The seats even recline. Oh, wow, look, reclining seats on an ATR. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> but yeah, really, really good um, so far. And it's only like an hour, I think. We've got about 50 minutes down to Acapulco today. So um, yeah, should be a good flight. I'd like to say a big thanks to this week's sponsor, which is well, me. Um, did you know that I've got a huge range of Knoll merch on the website? T-shirts, mugs, even these rather swanky socks. They're all over on the merch store at knollphillips.com. In contrast to most of my Mexican flights, the Sunday morning Acapulco flight was pretty empty with just a handful of passengers on board today. I was pretty surprised to find a full snack service on board this short 45 minute flight. And you even get a snack on board as well. Not bad for a 40 minute flight is it? Not long after the snacks there was a full hot drink service too which in my book is pretty decent for such a short flight. All too soon though we were starting our descent down into the coastal city of Acapulco. My 
that flight to Acapulco today cost me £29.34 or around about 40 US dollars, which works out to about 15 pence per mile. I'd like to say a big thanks to my patrons. You can join them at the link on the screen now to join my exclusive WhatsApp group, take part in my weekly Thirsty Thursday Zoom call and much more. Overall I was pretty impressed with Aramar. For such a small regional airline they provide a fantastic service and for the price I paid, well what more could you want? Let me know what you think to them though down in the comments. Well, here we are then, it's sunny Acapulco in Mexico. Um, it's really warm actually, um, looks absolutely glorious sort of area as we were coming in on approach out, but um, what a wonderful little flight that was down with Aeromar, um, the Mexican regional airline. Um, it was a nice to get on an ATR-72, the cabin crew were absolutely incredible, so friendly, just bringing around food and snacks and drinks. It's a 40 minute flight and they gave so much, it was really, really nice and um, yeah, and lovely little plane to fly on as well. Let me know what you thought to Aaron Mark down in the comments, but in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.